Hi everyone, this is Isabel from Autism Untouched. I know I've promised you guys some videos about how I help my son to work on his speech. He was diagnosed with nonverbal autism at ages three and five years old. He was six years old when he said his first word. The reason why I'm showing you guys these equipment it's not expensive it's like you can see a gym ball some hula hoops and inside trampoline because in New Zealand we often have cold weather I had to find ways to help my son exercise we do go out to parks and I do take him for um, various type of exercises but definitely on my journey so far I have learned that uh, there's a link between movement and speech and I never would have believed it but um, I tried it and I actually it was a long time ago I spoke to a teacher and she was telling me about one of my neurotypical kids she was having problems reading and she was telling me if I knew that there was a link between development in speech and reading and exercise i never thought it would be true but i actually i, I, I tested it and you uh, you know a lot of you guys that have autistic kids you'll know they like jumping they like spinning my son has had some rocking chairs they didn't last long but this ball it really works he likes sitting and hopping on it and it's he, he stims with it as well so it's for stimming but they like the hula hoops and the trampoline those are simple equipment you can buy for your child it's affordable that you can let them use safely within your home I do want to show you some of the visuals that I started out okay these are the visuals that I take with me everywhere I've had them made I'm going to talk more about toilet training later on but yes the basic ones that I started out with is the weight ones because all of you guys know everywhere that you go whether it's a restaurant or a fair or you know a bathroom a public restroom everywhere you need you have to wait and our autistic kids often have no idea what it is to take turns and to wait it takes them a long time to grasp those things and i've really found that i i my son's a visual learner but i find that i've seen with a lot of autistic kids they are just like that i find for instance when i would take him to a restaurant i will tell him explain to him that we have to wait for our food it really gives him reassurance um, those are the, the supermarkets what I find with 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 my son what really helped him to start talking is the fact that he would associate certain things playground and um, park he would associate things like say if we go to the warehouse he would get bubbles or he would get a balloons he loves balloons and bubbles and that is how we learned i will as we go along i'll show you more of the other visuals the ones that i used for toilet training um i can the, the, these are these are the things that work for me so time to go for a walk um time to to do you do you need to go toilet i found that in the beginning with my son when he was really young to ask him a question like are you hungry um, that's before he became verbal uh, if I would show him this he could not say yes or no but and you so, something happens in the child's brain that's autistic I've seen it for myself when they see a picture this is something that um, it's it's not only me uh, my son has is in a special needs school 
So he's got a speech therapist, uh, occupational therapist, and a physiotherapist. He, the, the speech therapist, she actually is the one that have been, we both are on the same page. She, she was the one that helped me when I realized that he's not responding to verbal commands. And I, you know, he was coming off as being stubborn at school. I was often told that he was stubborn. But this really gave him a voice. I'll be honest with you. In the beginning, I thought before I started using them, I thought to myself, because I was so desperate to hear my son speak, I thought this is going to stop him from speaking. But it's been amazing, people. If you have any situation you are really struggling in with your child, I'll, I'll make another video about toilet training and explain to you how I went about that. But this really helped my son. If we would sit in a restaurant, I would show him, say, it's time to eat or we have to wait for our food or it's time to have our drink now. You will be surprised the effect it had on him, the calming effect of knowing what is going to happen next. His brain understood that and a lot of autistic kids are like that. Um, what I did with the visuals like I can show you here is for instance I need help. My son and this is not available so in other words it, um, it helps him if they come in a situation where they want a toy in the shop or they really are or adamant you know how how very very adamant they can be is that that is a way of just just taking the attention off saying you know what that's not available now but then you can tell the child um say we we can go and to pack and save that's our grocery store and we can buy some bubbles or balloons um sometimes i do i do reward my child with Things like if he does something that he's been challenged with, like counting till 10 or so, um, I'll reward him with a balloon or, or playtime with bubbles. He loves iPad time. It's, it's really, it, it is a journey that you go on. But what I'm trying to um, tell you in this video is mainly that visuals and exercise, okay, it's a big part of teaching your child to talk and it is not expensive you don't have to if your child does not have access to therapists or this is things that you can buy for your child my child because of, of behavior and anxiety problems in the past he used to miss out a lot of school so he was a lot uh, at home oftentimes and didn't go to school but as he started knowing how to use his visuals, I can tell you something. It has actually improved his immune system. Because when your child has visuals, I take this everywhere with me, everywhere I go. And he's got a core board that he uses as well. But you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you advice right now is don't worry about what other people think when you're out in public. People are going to stare if your child does something, but you need to stay calm. You need to stay in control, and it's not always easy. I know in the beginning, when my son was only three years old, sometimes things got so bad that I used to just go home or, you know, burst out in tears when I got to the car. And it was frustrating. But there's a way around this. Like I said, what helped my son to start talking was using visuals, giving him confidence that he is being heard, giving him the security of, I know what's going to help. We're going to wash hands now. After we've gone to the bathroom, we're going to wash hands. And then, we, if we, then we're going to eat. He, he knew you can, in a way, you can tell them what is happening. And that... The more they relax, the more it opens up that neuropathways to think clearer and to be able to take in what they need.
to take in to communicate their needs. So yes, these are simple things that I've done and tried. And I'm sure some of you have probably heard about it already. But I'm going to talk a lot about a mental state, our mental state, our mindset. And I want you to start being a relaxed and a happy parent. And start believing in yourself again. And forget what everybody said to you. Just believe in your child and believe in yourself. This is Autism Untouched. Thank you for watching.